This is my randomology. Today, we're going to imagine all the people who are going to suffer severe trauma during this movie. All right, imaginary. Um, I heard about this movie. Interesting premise. But when I asked people on uh, on the Facebook page about it, I got kind of mixed responses because some people saw it and they thought it was it was okay, it was entertaining. Um, and then somebody pointed out that the guy who made this, I don't know if he directed or he wrote it, possibly both. He's also the guy who did Truth or Dare. So I don't know how I feel about that. But anyway, Blumhouse has rarely steered me wrong. <laughs> so let's go ahead and watch Imaginary. And like always, if you like what you're watching, go ahead and go over to Patreon, subscribe there to support the channel, or subscribe here, or become a member, and if you become a member, you actually get all these videos early. Okay, so lights flickering either means you gotta check your circuit breaker, or there's a demon. A little from column A, a little from column B. Okay. Then you eat something... Oh, uh, oh, you're you're hurt. Where's the front door? You should be going through it. Is that a pair of pliers? That's a tooth. Oh, no, no mouth stuff, please. I that's when it comes to horror movies, that's actually one of the few things that I cannot tell. Who are you? What? Did he just turn into a spider? Uh this is a Pennywise situation. What 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 are we what are we dealing with here? What are the rules? Ooh. Oh, that's a closet. Okay, so we uh we got a boogeyman situation here. Should we call an exterminator? <laughs> <laughs> your night terrors are hilarious. It's your happy place. This guy looks like Balthar's no nephew. Imaginary, that wacky romantic comedy from Blumhouse. Wait, I'm sorry, are they living on... Hold on. Yeah, they're living on Elm Street. <laughs> uh, not if you put a gun in my head. So you got to draw on the walls? Is that is that what that is? Oh, is that a scar? That's a bird scar, isn't it? Out the creepy coloring book walls. Oh, okay. That's the relation. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Okay. I can see. I can see where some of the problems are going to be coming in. <laughs> it's funny because it's sad. The actual memories are so fuzzy. Well, you really again, is this like a dairy know. situation? Why does she not remember some of this stuff? Simon kind of scares me. Yeah. He's icky. You should kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Man, kids don't give a fuck. They'll tell you exactly what's on their mind. They'll have the covers by Friday. You're going outside while the kid's still inside. Uh, how new are you to this parent thing? It's very easy to criticize. Fun too. I just also noticed that the kid's always carrying a little blanket around. Alley cat? Was that was that what you called her? Why are you using that funny voice? What funny voice? Wait, what? I God, it's really hard to make things out when I have all these lights on my Hello? face. Kid, you are way braver than me at that age, I swear. Oh, neat. A crawl space. That's the kind of thing you want with uh, inquisitive children in the house. A bear! I have a teddy bear still. Chauncey? I like that. Can... Can she only... Can she... Am I not supposed to hear the bear? Safe now. Oh, she's a sweetie. How is this going to backfire t tremendously for her? Honey, you've got a big storm coming. <laughs> okay, I saw that in the nightmare dream memory sequence. Yeah, you left the kid alone inside the house. <laughs> Found someone else to play with. Oh. That bear is a bad influence, I can tell. Uh, 
Someone mysterious outside looking into your window, and your first instinct is to go outside and check up on what they are? Well, that's just lazy writing. There is a bar that doesn't check IDs. Good to know. I always forget mine. Uh, nice to meet you, Liam. You're barred from setting foot on this property. How about mini golf? Laser tag? Please stop talking. Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> when I was her age, his name was Mr. Tough. He knew karate, and he could make bombs out of anything. Your childhood seems interesting. So see the one we'll make. Not if you're smushed between us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta put your head down. Steve's gonna find us. Okay. Are they gonna see Chauncey? Are they gonna hear something? Just listen for his rumble tummy. He's always hungry. Oh, I I don't like that. He's always hungry. What what does he eat, Ali? What does what does Chauncey eat? Damn recording lights! I can't see a thing. What what am I looking at? What am I looking at? I got skate. I dropped my hot pocket. Oh, okay, okay, that one got me, that one got me, that's... There he is, yeah. Now, did she bring the bear in before they saw it, or did the bear crawl in by himself? I think Simon is just scared, too, of losing Molly. Is that why he chases her through all those doors? Ooh, kid's got some literary analysis, uh, Chops. Chauncey says you're not allowed to play with us. Well, Chauncey sounds like a bit of a dick. What else is on that list? I'm worried now. Is there gonna, something that goes bang? Something that can crush a skull? Something to summon the demon Mephistopheles? I actually don't know what, if, if Chauncey is the monster or the monster is using Chauncey as a puppet. And... Yeah. Never ever. It's a blue door? The biscuits? Across the palm they pronounce it a scone. <laughs> She's a total daddy's girl. <laughs> okay, I was wondering why she called it a biscuit. Thank you. What? No. Uh He's right behind you. Oh, no? No, 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 no. <laughs> Mom! I need to protect my girl. Ah, uh, that my what? The, uh, yeah, no, what? What the hell just happened? I shouldn't have texted Mom, and I know that, but I thought she was doing better, so I did, but I. It's okay. You still shouldn't have given her the address. You can go visit her. We can... I mean, if she's... If she's mentally just... Oh, God. Are you okay? No. Bye. No, she's not. I don't care if you're 30, 40, or 50. Something like that happens. You're not okay. You said you had a friend just like him. So... Okay. So Chauncey's not the thing that she had as a friend when she was little? I mean, I assume she had a, an imaginary friend of some sort. Is that Alice doing Chauncey's voice? Are you sure? Absolutely not. Not me. Certainly not I. Sleep well, Chauncey. I don't want you to ever leave me. I think you might come to regret that in about an hour of screen time. Chauncey sounds like a snake. I have another paintbrush, please. It's for my game. Here, here go, Chauncey. Thank you. There. Lock of hair. Oh god, this is this is a spell. Oh come on! Almost sometimes had me convinced that he was real. Uh, okay, uh, ma'am, you... I just love children's imaginations. What I don't love is when they get so violent. Jess, you gonna make Alice's lunch or am I gonna have to? Oh, my God. 
<laughs> yeah, that's my thought exactly. What a bitch. I'm sure I'll be seeing you. She knows something. She definitely knows something. Can I have some for Chauncey? She's always hungry. Yeah, again, though, Thank what you. does Chauncey eat? How could you just change? You know, uh, your baby girl. Severe trauma, mental illness. It's for my scavenger hunt. But flies? If I can finish my list, Chauncey will take me on a trip to the place he's from. Uh, where is that exactly? Uh, fairy, the Slimmerland? So your imaginary friend has his own imaginary <laughs> friends. Can I hang out with him too? Oh, please tell me he gets killed or at least mauled. Don't touch my stuff again. Ever. <laughs> oh, don't look so exasperated. Like, she's... <laughs> Oh, but talking at CB, you always talking at CB. Daddy, talking CB? at CB. Oh my God! I just I, I reacted to that one already. How long did you think Jess was gonna be out that you were gonna sit here and watch a movie? Up with the apple juice, you'll never notice the difference. Uh. I know. I don't like him either. Maybe you should eat him. Jealousy's he's gone. <laughs> oh, that's actually creepier. Hey, that is creepy. Now, I'm guessing a kid getting mauled in their home is going to draw some attention, so... This is going to be a little more subtle. Maybe an accident getting staged? Maybe? Kid's got the attention span of a goldfish. Hands off my stuff. That's Chauncey, right? Oh, please bite his dick off. That's a really long string. Oh man, dying like this with your dick out? That's embarrassing. Just getting mauled by a teddy bear covered in your own piss? Dick out. You're just tripping. Yeah, because you took something. I don't even know what that was. The towels? The thing you went up there to get? Hey! Oh, hi! Hey, you, kid. I is Taylor going to wonder where this kid went? No, he's got you. Gonna jump up and be a real boy or a real something. Yep, there you go. What the crack bear was that? Nope. Cocaine Barry got nothing on this guy. Sorry, this isn't Molly. This is my allergy medicine. Get back to the house. Idiot. Jesus. Except the truth that we is dumb. Dumb as hell. A bow? Uh, wait, what was what was the part of the bottom? Come on, sweetie. Alice isn't in there, is she? So I just need you to know that none of us There's a 50% okay. chance that the kid's not actually under there. Oh yeah, I called it. No, but you saw the comforter moving, right? You saw the comforter moving. I'm nervous. Oh, I no. It won't hurt. Something that makes you mad? Something that hurts? Okay. Oh, no, baby girl. Don't do this. Oh, she sees it as a flower? No! No! I reject the premise of this! Oh god, you got this effect that like now. Why would you do that? Oh! I'm so sorry. That was actually tense. I... <laughs> Fucking creepy bear. Now that right there would have been a good place to have like a little swipe cut where his face his head was turned just a little bit the other way. So why don't you tell me about Chauncey? He loves me a lot. Define love. Chauncey doesn't want me to talk about that. Uh, Chauncey can fuck off. Go ahead, Alice. Are we gonna see something different in the camera? They've been using cameras a lot. I have a feeling if they don't use that for something, like notice something in the video by the end of this thing, I'm gonna be a little upset. Chauncey need Alice be brave. Chauncey keep Alice safe. Uh, Chauncey talk like caveman. 
You said that you loved me. Nobody loved Alex. Ah, uh, we can't That's see. Mean. You're lying. Big Mommy always. I, I do like how they're doing it so we can't see her face as she's talking for Chauncey. Always. Stupid doctor say anything to Alice, Mom. I hurt you. And you're three ugly grand. Ah, uh, she's not moving her lips. Did you? You had to have seen that, right, Doc? You saw that. She wasn't moving her mouth. It's on tape. And you two motherfuckers need Jesus. Can we talk privately about next steps? Of course. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. next step involves a priest. Two priests. Old priest and a young priest. Actually, I've seen the movie, so let's let's do three priests. We have a priestess backup. Uh, fuck him. Seriously. Jess, are you putting this together too? Yeah, your paintings. Do you remember that? Do you want to show the doctor that? The stuffed bear Alice brought into the study? I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> what? what oh, God, the bear's not real. We've been tricked. We've been backstabbed. And we've been quite possibly bamboozled. Okay, are either of you gonna talk about the fact that she talked without moving her mouth? It's a donut from England. Across the pond, they pronounce it scone. Okay, I'm glad that the videotapes at least came back. Okay, now you really- there is something- There is no denying that there is something really, really weird going on here, right? You've seen the stuff there, right? Chauncey? What? No. He's imaginary. Oh, that's why they call it that. Only That's people who what imaginary friends are. Oh. Get him out of the house, go to a hotel, and then just burn the place down. That whatever is going on with you, Alice is tuning into. I have a colleague I think you should talk to. Is he an exorcist? Is it the Winchesters? Please. Oh, a bear! Was this your bear? CB, Chauncey Bear. Jesus. Oh, God, I'm slow. Oh, yeah, the thing that's actually... Yeah, Cha the bear's a puppet, right? Yeah, you're doing a spell. That's a spell. Sorry. Ah. Uh... She was sleeping in her room. People do not just disappear. And you think she made her, like, what, David Copperfield? This is gonna sound... Out there. Any more than what's going on? I... Well, guess what, Jess? You're not needed. Taylor, uh, I'm going to walk the bitch? Again. Wow. You know, I, I, I get it. I get it. You know, uh, new parent moves in. It can be a very trying thing, but that was entirely uncalled for, and I hope she gets hit by a car. I don't, I don't hope she gets hit by a car. That was harsh. Not that harsh. Yeah, he is less than useless, so just keep going. I wanted to say something when Jessica first moved back here. But it was clear she didn't remember. Maybe she didn't want to. Well, good thing you're still around. I don't entertain many guests. Ooh, nice little library, what, what, office, studio this? thing. I want one of these. The culture has a name for it. Entities that tether to the young. The Spanish call it El Cuco. The True. Dad, most of them are, are benevolent. Uh, helpful even benign yeah like the old concept of uh, uh, of uh, David's world and the connection the spirits okay but how did she get out of wherever it was that she went because this is a permanent right so how did you get back here from that place good question that's kind of the back? yeah that's <laughs> that's the fifty four thousand dollar question we're seriously doing a kid scavenger hunt to open a doorway to a magical spirit world is it honestly any weirder than the it's stuff that's happened so far? Something that makes you hurt. Want me to send a bitchy text? It means <laughs> really. Oh god. You don't that's have to babe yourself. Just... Oh! 
That'll do it. You could have just cut your arm. Somewhere better. There's a breeze in the basement. Uh, that's not normal, right? Oh, that was brutal, Jess. Well, there's the movie's one F bomb. Get out! Yep, we're all going through. It's a trip. <laughs> Girl road trip. All right, I guess this is the night bitches die. Holy ass a trip, Batman. Man, MC Escher saw this thing and went, fuck no. Everyone said that my books were the nonsensical ramblings of a crazy old lady. Yeah, I'm glad you're having this moment now, of, you know, validation, know but at the sure. same time, let's, let's, I own the goal here. It's a kingdom of our imagination that can be whatever we want it to be. Oh God, has Gloria just been saying it just wanted to come back here? I'm going to tell him. Don't you dare. Oh, that's why he would, uh, okay. Yeah, I figured he did something to seal that, but, uh, okay, apparently they drained the sanity? Oh, uh, Gloria! You trapped us. Your father should never have let you leave. Oh, fuck. I am shocked. Shocked! Well, not that shocked. Is that a dog? Why is there a dog here? We can, we can create anything. Be anything. You're gonna get ripped apart, we'll lady. Happy. Twelve seconds later. <laughs> and nothing of value was lost. We have to go. We you think? Great strategy, Napoleon. Thanks. Ah, shit, berries. <sighs> Damn five-dimensional space. Is... Oh, hi. Okay. That's... Alice. No, that's probably something wearing, Alice. Chauncey's coming for you. I don't need to see that. Nobody needed to see that. Uh, you want to unplug that? Well, he's meaner than the average bear. Why? Okay, smart. We stay together unless I tell you to go. Promise me. I promise. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's scared straight, so... I'm going to check her room. Stay with her. Thank you. You know, I figured that was going to happen, but it was still really creepy. My sister and both my moms. Um... I can help you become the perfect mom. To these two perfect girls. I'll oh, this manipulative bitch! Please, you're breaking them. Uh, I what's the plan here? Just what are you doing? Imagination. Imagination. I reject your reality and substitute my own. Alice, sweetie. Oh, uh, yeah. New door. New door. It's working. This is a very intense Arts and Crafts uh, session. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh you God! Quick, you freaking Coraline Bob! Stop, bear! Oh yeah, yeah. I figured Chauncey was going to Freddy Krueger this thing. I like the practical effect on the bear, though. Like that's. Ow! Something cracked. Okay, but that's that can't be the end though. We know we need we need there's gotta be one more. Uh. No 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 don't don't give me the, the feel good music. No no no. There's one more thing that's gonna happen. I never really said thank you, Jess. I know I could be hard to deal with. <laughs> So, how did we explain all this to Dad? <laughs> uh, yep. You fell victim to one of the classic blunders! Again. That's unnecessarily creepy. This is how you save them. You can be happy here. Damn, if this is how it ends, bold. How did she get back in? Okay, now is this one real? Okay, take two. Is this real? 
Okay, yeah, I figured it, 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 it ended way too quick last time. Oh! Oh god, two of them. Woo! There you go! Somebody want to put that out now? Oh, never mind. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Uh -huh. no, the house no. Yeah, no, let it burn. Let the fucker let burn. burn. Uh, no. Okay, Taylor can see a two, right? Okay. Rufus ran off on his own. Sure you did, sweetheart. Come on, let's go sit. Should we try the next hotel? Great idea. idea. <laughs> imaginary friends don't get hungry, sweetie. But he's not imaginary. Oh, kid, you're screwed. All right, doesn't look like there's anything, so let's go ahead and talk about that. You know what? That wasn't as that wasn't terrible like a lot of people were telling me that it was going to be. I think it could have definitely been better, uh, but it had some it had some good moments. You know, the acting was the acting was pretty good. Um, I love that twist halfway through where you realize that only a few people can actually see Chauncey. That was that was really neat. Uh, and I'm glad that they set up the thing with the cameras early on, so that actually made sense. Um, the uh, the sequence in the Never Ever was actually kind of cool too. It was a it was a uh, practical the practical sets, the practical design for the the big monster Chauncey. All of that was really really well done. I think it took a little bit to get to the creepy stuff. I don't think there were enough enough scares throughout the movie. Uh, but it still wasn't bad. I was entertained. So, if anything, I'm probably going to make it, give it like a, like a B minus. It's good. This is actually, I think, uh, what you might call a good horror introduction movie. Like, it's there's not really a lot of gore. It's easy to kind of get into. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff to kind of latch onto, and then the horror kind of takes over. So, anyway, that's my thing. Not a bad movie. It was fun. Uh, so, thank you very much for watching. I will see you later.